if you watched our show during American Idol last season, you know how much I love our first guest. His debut CD is called Audio Daydream. Please welcome Blake Lewis. Rocking music, yes, going on. Yeah, we do. We like to rock out here. Is what we do. <laughs> uh, so is that? I just heard that you were walking around in the hall in in the Ellen underwear. Is that true? It's true. I was trying to find you. Say uh -huh. thank you. Yeah. I go commando, so yeah. I, every time I get a pair of underwear, it's uh, a sacred event. Oh, good. Well, yeah. it's odd that my security didn't let you find me. Uh, look at that. See that he was wearing Ooh. it actually. They're comfy. They are comfortable. They are comfortable. I might switch back. Now. Uh, to, to not going commando anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You should. It's cold out. Yeah, it is. It is chilly. Um, so you know how supportive of, uh, I was of you yes, last season. I'm, and I'm thrilled for you. I'm thrilled you're doing well. And the thing that I learned about you is that you didn't play by any of the rules, though. You didn't do anything they asked like you to do. I like to break the rules. Yeah. So you Hands didn't. walking around in my underwear. Yeah, obviously we learned that. <laughs> but, like, there's a curfew for, for all the people on American Idol, and you didn't pay attention to it ever. Yeah, why? Why? That's my question. <laughs> I'm not 12 anymore. I, uh -huh. I can't get grounded anymore. Uh -huh. So, and, and you didn't go to rehearsal? You just went and usually just kind of did freestyle? No, we, we all did rehearsals. The way, like, every day is different in American Idol, and um, I arranged my music the night before, so when it came to the arrangement rehearsals, I didn't have to do it, so uh -huh. I got to hang out. Right. So. And so uh, Jordan was here not too long ago, Sparks, and she said she did confirm that you all, in fact, are dating, so congratulations. Uh, that's great. <laughs> no. She's too young. She's, she's too young. She's, she's beautiful. She is she's young. She's an amazing woman. She's young, but y'all are good friends, right? Yes, definitely. We just played a show in uh, Minneapolis mm -hmm. together uh, three days ago. So. Um, and uh, now let, let me talk to you about your tattoos. How many do you have? I have six right now and working on getting seven in January. Yeah, I heard that you're going to take one off of your shoulder. Yes. And that, which, by the way, is supposed to be more painful than getting a tattoo it, is I taking just did one it. off. I just did it oh, you uh, had it done. a week ago. And how big was the tattoo you it's, had removed? It's this big. Oh. And you have to go like four or five times and... Uh, Lord, yeah, yeah, why? It's not too fun. So you're having one taken off so that you can get a bigger one to fill your entire back, is that right? I'm getting my whole back done into my chest, yeah. Oh, I, I guess people who do it love it, and uh, <laughs> no, the audience is like, "Oh my God!" No, I know. It just no, it's not too. It, it sounds so painful to do. And you, you, what's the whole? What is the front and back going to be of? It's a mixture of uh, Salvador Dali's uh, Persistence of Memory uh -huh. and Alice in Wonderland. It's kind of um, music is timeless. Basically, it's an old phonograph, and it warps into a, a phoenix, smoke's rising out, and uh, there's like drooping clocks everywhere. Oh. So. I was going to get the... It's very beautiful. I'm getting it done on LA. I'm thinking of getting the dogs playing poker on my back. Yeah? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's intricate that you're doing. All right, so I have a, a, a mic for you because I think uh, I would like the people to hear how amazing you are at beatboxing, and then I'm going to try to teach you some new ones. Oh, you're going to teach, teach me? I saw... I saw you uh, doing some beatboxing during the show. Yeah, I've done I, beatboxing I was very before. Thanks a lot. Yeah. All right, let's, let's just uh, see what you got, though. <clears throat> oh, oh. It's loud in here. Yeah, it doesn't have to be loud. There's a rider strike. Pat <laughs> Malachmi is going to join us after this. We're going to make some flautas, and then you're going to sing for us a little later on. We'll be yes. back.